Hey, what's up, Brian here. Today we're gonna teach you how to set up the perfect Magic Mouse setup. The Magic Mouse is the Apple uh, touch sensitive uh, mouse. It's a really great tool, it's awesome, it's amazing. But there is a few problems with it. One, your mobility is not very good, it's, it's kind of slow. Um, and to try to move it around services, there's a lot of issues and there's like some fixes and stuff online. None of them work, trust me, none of them work. Anyways, uh, there is also an issue with comfort. It's not super ergonomically designed. I mean, it's not bulky enough, so your hand has nothing to set on, so your wrist kind of hurts after using it for a while. And uh, finally, there is some touch uh, things that you would like to do with your mouse that you can't by default do, but there is a program that you can get that will allow you to do pretty much anything. All right guys, once you bought your Magic Mouse, there's first two programs you may want to look into getting. Um, I've researched everything on the programs. There's only two, trust me. All the other ones are like fake or horrible. Um, anyways, this one is called Expo Gesture. So Magic Mouse Expo Gesture, and the little icon looks like this. And then there's also Magic Prefs. Okay, Magic Prefs also works not only for your Magic Mouse, but for a trackpad as well. It has all kinds of cool little features and things like that. Um, anyways, I'm going to show you Magic Prefs pops up into your main uh, system preference settings. And then uh, on Magic Prefs, you can do all kinds of things. There's like swipe, you can set two finger swipe, um, you can set your click area for certain spots. This is what I had changed mostly, uh, one finger middle access click. Um, so now I have a middle mouse button right here. And then you can you can move this around and uh, set it to whatever you want. I also have the four finger click. So whenever I click four fingers on the mouse, it will do the expo, whatever that program is thing, where all the all the stuff comes up like this. I also have one finger tap on the Apple stem. It's pretty much the Apple right here. Um, if you tap it, I have that set to Apple Z. And then two finger tap um, is also set so if i do two fingers on the apple it'll redo one finger on the apple will undo i've also learned that with this program if you just want to use the palm of your hand to go like that it will do undo so i've got it set up to where this does apple z just by touching it so i can be working with it and then i want to apple z rather than doing apple z i just go boom like that with my palm of my hand and it does apple z and then i do this to redo so uh, that's what that feature does. Anyways, that is what I set. I think that's about all I set. There's so many features, it's ridiculous. And you can check them all out, they're awesome. You wanna turn the tracking speed really high. Um, I don't know why this is low. Anyways, you wanna turn it up really high. And then here's your preferences, by the way. It's automatically in this top menu bar. Um, so you can just click the button and it will uh, be up there. Now we'll discuss Expo Gesture real quick. Um, it's up here in the top bar um, and so you can quickly get to it and change your settings if you want. I haven't fully figured out Expo Gesture. Um, it's got all kinds of cool stuff but it's not working completely with my computer. It is a Japanese uh, native program that they have an English version of it. There could be some issues with it but being able to set this circle key and stuff to do certain things and then the zigzag to do certain things works it's just you got to fidget with it a little bit to figure it out i'll show you the websites to go to if you just google magic prefs it'll be the first one but if you google expo gesture it's not going to be the first one you got to click on a few different things it's kind of hard to get to i'll put the url in the description below so you can just copy it and go to it but here's the website and then you can choose what version uh, i think this is universal so it works for almost all of them and that's what i downloaded uh, Magic Prefs, their website looks like this, um, so it's pretty pretty simple, self-explanatory, you figure it out. Um, so those are the two programs you want. So get both those programs and then have fun with that and then you'll be able to customize your settings on your mouse. And now on to the ergonomic parts of your mouse. Okay, the next thing you want to do to fix your ergonomic problems is you want to go to mmfixed.com and you want to buy this little silicone rubber piece, okay? It's uh, 
It's literally just a piece of silicone rubber. Um, it's cost like $12. You just click add to cart here and boom, you're done. Um, and that helps fix the ergonomic design issue. And I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. It's got a little suction cup on there and it's supposed to suction to your mouse like this. And then it sticks on somewhat well. Uh, I know it seems like it's sticking on really well right now, but uh, when you're using it all the time, it pops off all the time. After using it for a while, your wrist hurts right in here because you're not, you know, you're not able to use it solidly. But with the Magic Mouse fixed, you put this on here and then you're able to use it like a normal mouse and click, click, move it around and you can use your hand. Your hand has something to rest on so it's not like hurting your wrist anymore. When you put it on here, you do lose your function of being able to use the uh, hand gesture feature on the bottom here by touching it um, that does Apple Z, which I have a program to do. You do lose that, but uh, that's about it. Other than that, um, at least you have a non-hurting wrist after using your Magic Mouse. Um, the second issue with the Magic Mouse is movement. Uh, if you have a standard mouse pad like this, like that's material, it's not gonna work. Um, your Magic Mouse is gonna feel really sluggish and slow and it's hard to maneuver. Um, so what you need to do is you need to get a very cheap mouse pad, like one of those uh, plastic ones that are like plastic on the surface. Um, I think I got it off of Amazon. It was like a dollar or something for like some cheap plastic. It had some horrible design on it. And then I got a piece of vinyl and I vinylized it. Yes. When you vinylize it, it should look something like this when you're done. Um, basically, all I did was I took a piece of vinyl and laid it upside down and then put my mouse pad on it and then I cut around the edges of the mouse pad to where it had this vinyl here. And you can use matte vinyl, which is what I use. You can also use glossy vinyl. Either one will help. I think the matte does better though and it, it lasts longer. It um, doesn't look as jacked up. This now, with the, with the vinyl, it slides really well. It's like, you can pass it, but without the vinyl uh, mouse pad, like on this, it does not slide at all. And then even on a, uh, a material mouse pad, it's really bad too. It like, it does not go, I mean like I can't really show you entirely, but uh, yeah, it doesn't go very well. So you do need, a vinyl mouse pad and then it's smooth. It'll go sliding right off the edges. Um, it makes it much, much easier to use. See here at the bottom, there should really be like a dot here, 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 and here. But there's not. There's an entire bar. And all this bar creates fric friction, uh, which doesn't allow your mouse to uh, move s fluidly or smoothly. Uh, it, it's like too much friction so it stops it and it's kind of tough to move it across things. There is a fix online for glass tables and basically it's just a felt strip that sticks on these little rails here and it's just felt. Um, it's not a very good fix. Um, it only works if you're using it on like a glass or smooth surface to do that but then again the laser sometimes won't register if it's too, if this is like any taller, the laser won't register. So you've gotta be really careful. Um, I tried putting like stickers here on all four corners like uh, to make it be smoother to move. That failed. The, you know, the only solution really is the vinyl, uh, the vinyl mouse pad. That's really the only solution for uh, fixing the slow movements of the mouse design. And basically, once you've got those programs and you've got your M M MM fixed uh, silicone rubber thing stuck on your mouse and you've got your vinylized mouse pad, you're pretty much set to go. And uh, your setup should look kind of like this. Oh, and you will have your best possible experience you could have with your Magic Mouse. Um, and that is how you set up a perfect magic mouse setup thanks so much for watching and uh maybe i might make another video on how to set up something perfectly maybe <laughs>